Hey cousins. Hey baby, wipe the screen for me. It looks a little foggy. Oh, hey, hold on, let me do it. Because they like to do it with their fingers. Oh, it's still foggy. Oh, that's better. Oh, man. I'm a... How you doing? What's, I'm sorry. Your What's your name, Boo? I'm April. April, where you calling us from? I am in South Carolina. South Carolina, how old are you? 42. 42. What you do for a living, baby? I am a courier. Mail carrier? I carry everything. Car part, food, everything. Okay, you're a carrier. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any children? I do. I have four. How old are your um, kids? 23, 11, 10 tomorrow, and five. Okay. All about the same man? Um, three of them, yes. The other, no. And Kendra, I got to tell you, I, um, I am still legally married. What? I know that's the issue for you because I've been watching your show. It's, it's actually it's an issue. Listen, it is an issue for me, but really my audience is over you married folks. I mean, they they are over y'all because it's like been like two weeks now of married people calling into the show and the cousins are just trying to figure out why the hell y'all calling us. So I'm going to let you talk. Cause they going, cause they listen. They going to give it to you, and and we all want to understand why married folks just don't get divorced and then start dating. Okay, well let me say this. Um, I'm fleeing domestic violence, so here we go. Stop the cap, man. As we always say, people, if y'all back them far far enough into the corner, they gonna just start saying stuff. And here we go. I think that is always the first, you know, I don't even know what to call it. That's their first rebuttal to your rebuttal. All right. What's that? And so they say, okay, well, why, why ain't you divorced? What's going on? Why are you here? Why don't you just wait? You're going to keep asking me questions about my mess up situation, Kendra. Okay. Well, he was beat me upside my head. Now what you got to say, Kendra? I had to leave. Now and I, yeah, I was I, fleeing. I'm fleeing domestic violence. That's the first. Like so. fleeing domestic violence, like leaving the state. Like I gotta go. Leave him in his sleep. Like I can Tina. Huh. <laughs> could listen, uh. listen, could be true, but every every dang every contestant says the same thing. There we go. Let's hear her story. I'm sure she's gonna let us know. Shout out to my guy Eric Jordan. Come through with the super chat. He say that's a huge bi, funked up hair. She for the streets. She belongs to the streets. Straight like that. So let's hear what she got to say because she gonna say a lot. Here we go. For the while, for a while, I, I although I was not in the relationship, dealing with him and trying to co-parent, he was still putting his hands on me. We were separated for a year and a half by then, and I was still afraid of him, so I didn't get a divorce. But um actually in two weeks i'm doing it I'm, I'm getting it started i've been talking to a lawyer and it's gonna get started it's gonna get started so let me just ask you this girlfriend a girlfriend why should you meet another man during this process why can't your energy be focused on your healing you coming out of a marriage like do you really think right now like you're saying you're getting it started so you would even really put the divorce papers in so this could be a whole year or two who knows how much longer what is wrong with just focusing on ending that before you add another man into this component okay it's like this for that year and a half that i was still in contact with him i was healing myself um this last past year i've gotten to the place like i've been through the healing journey i am i went through the lonely phase i'm loving me more um, I actually got love to give and I can't give it to him. So I want to find somebody else. And yes, 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 I'm still legally married. But if you look at it, like for real, that thing was over when he started beating on me, beating me and he almost had a baby on me. So like, it's done. It's over. Only thing he left is the paperwork. It's the only paperwork. And how long do you think this process is going to take? Not long, because I don't know where he is. And um, we don't have any long. What is not long? Talk to me in timetables. Um, 
From what I was told, it could take anywhere from six months to a year. So a year, a year to you is not long. No, not really. I mean, that is, I mean, look, I could be getting to know the next person. Yeah, the pa the paperwork isn't done, but I could be getting to know the next person and getting ready to move on with my life. I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to move on with my life. I've been through everything. It took me, I fought hard to get to where I am right now. And I want somebody to share it with. So what kind of... So she up in there lonely. And it'll take over your mind. Ha, ha, ha. She said, go. she said, I done been through my lonely stage. She said, Kendra, I done heal. <laughs> I done been lonely. Then a man with Jamma up and through here. I'm tired of being lonely. Give me my man. Stop asking me all these questions. Woohoo! I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired of being alone. <laughs> Won't you help me, Kendra? <laughs> are you looking for honey ah uh, somebody who is kind somebody who is uh generous funny um what does generous mean to you generous i mean like i i did say the wrong word um i meant to say consistent not generous because I, I mean when i say generous i mean you you're giving up your time i'm i'm one of those people where one of my love languages is quality time so I like quality time. I like to be, you know, touched. I all five of them are my damn love languages. I have, so, I have a question. Is your you you were uh, is your husband the father of any of your children? He's the father of the last three. Last three. So you have three children by this man, and you're saying he was you experienced domestic violence, correct? Yes. So would the new man have to potentially deal with drama? Because why not? No, because uh, the last time I did speak with him, he caught some kind of infection. And he's on that Wi Fi mess up for a second. The last time you did speak with him, what? Um, he has caught some kind of infection and it had him laid up in the bed for like six months. So he had a lot of time to think and, and go through th uh, therapy at that time. So He's supposedly a better person. He just doesn't do for his children, but that's that's something else. I'm good on that. What are the deal breakers you have with a new guy? Smoking. Um, so here we go, man. In the big name of Jesus, you hear me? Oh, here we go. She's saying a lot, Mr. Walker, but before we do, we got a cash app come in. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Quantavius. He come through, he hit the skip button. He said, I can't hear no more of this. Man, I was about to lose faith. I said, ain't no way. All right, th this audience listened to this with a straight face and just eating this. She up here talking. Wow, she up here talking about her, her husband, her active husband out here laid out and caught some infection, laid oh. up for six months. Some infection somehow ain't creeped over to her. Come, Come on, man. man. Come on, Come man. On. Yeah. She up here talking about infections and trauma and drama. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's bad. Talking about infections and stuff. Come on. So here we are. Shout out to Quantavius. Come through. <laughs> like you say, if y'all don't know what's going on, Quantavius, he just hit the skip button. So we go move off of this gatekeeper, or she ain't even a gatekeeper. I don't know what she is, so but she, I know she what she's is. doing. <laughs> she's she in that submarine right now. <laughs> right like that. So the first submarine passenger of the night, the first Kendrick contestant of the night. Mm, is it a tale of the contestants to come? We shall see. So here we are. Y'all know the band out at the 50. All right. We got a full show lined up. Shout out to Quantavius. We're going to move on, brother. Thank 
that was a catastrophe. She she we even couldn't even get to much. She she blowed out. She came for Kendra looking looking poor for the open sexual marketplace of today. Looking poor, very poor. Trauma, drama, huh. and 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 infections. Happy Fourth. <laughs> and lonely. So she said she's sitting up in that house by herself. She lonely. Talk to myself for hours. <laughs> oh, she's lonely. She lonely. She keep she keep hitting that little man in the boat with all them boats via that roll. Just bzz, bzz, and she just uh, going numb. Uh, <laughs> wearing that thing out. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> stop with them roses. That's that's a topic for another day. But yeah, post rose gotta... trauma. Post rose huh. trauma. Syndrome. So here we are. We're going to keep it moving here. Make sure y'all hitting the like button. Here we go. From one to another. We on one tonight. Here we go. Yeah, we ain't even asked for the Kendra cam. We don't even care. We saw what it was, what it was. <laughs> I'm here. So I'm here to do whatever it is I'm here to do. And if this is the venture that I'm on while I'm here, let's get it possible. So I need to be here for it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, girlfriend. <laughs> Because God said you're going to watch those two extra babies because them two extra babies, the Lord sent you to watch over. So the two babies in the background, God sent you to the bathroom. Okay, so she on the phone. She, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't caught me. She caught me slipping. Who the hell? Who, okay, so. Who we talking to? God had a conversation. Who we on the phone with? Is it the pastor? Who are we talking right to? Then. Okay, okay. Hi. Don't do that. Yeah. We ain't gonna start. We can start it with a good note. Good note. Yeah. We good know. note. Who two kids got for you to watch over? I gotta go in the back. They loud. I can't hear you. I gotta leave. I can't. I, they loud. I can't hear shit. I'm leaving. I gotta go in the back. Okay. Okay. What you say now? Have you been here before? You know who I am. Listen, don't stop. T, I'm, I'm Taz. I, this not, is this not drama. This is me. This is me. Don't, don't do it. Hear it. But here's what I need. Yeah. All my cousins understand. I will not Hell. remember you the way you think I will remember you. So please don't Ooh. be offended by it. I I'm not offended. Okay. So you I'm not offended. Know here, but I don't remember too much. I'll tell you who I am. I am so Taz. Yeah. I am the one that you said, I'm going to take my braids off too. I got braids under this wig. And we can do the damn thing. I'm her. I'm the one you that my grandson was in the video and I had on a do rag and I didn't want to stand up because I wasn't dressed. I had braids, remember? Oh, Tiffany. Wait, 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 do you work at Walmart? I used to work at Walmart. Okay. Well, I remember. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So okay. how are you, ma'am? I'm good. Now you listen, this is a different energy. You did have a an energy that day child. that's the thing i didn't have an energy that was just i was in a bad spot right then at that time my mental wasn't even right there because of it. listen i'm good my birthday was friday i'm 43 now i don't give a damn about none of that other stuff i've been waiting to talk to you because i wanted to let you know what you saw and who you saw before is not who i am so i'm coming to you in a whole different form so you can know who you talking to okay well listen you I Okay, look, yeah, I'm about that light too. Am I? What, what, what we on? What do I got to chat? Do I need? To I do? love your new area, your new space. Shit. Um, thank you, sweetheart. Tiffany. Okay, yes. I do remember now. Now I do remember. Once you went back, I remember. But you know, so now, you also know that that energy that I felt wasn't. I wasn't the only person. Oh uh, yeah, all them haters. They are. They, they can hate all they want to. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. So none well, of that phase me. That you wasn't in the best spot at that time. So maybe right. that was just why that energy was coming yes. off. I will yes. say this is a lighter, like you seem in a bet. You you do come across different in this energy. Yes. You okay. have to know me to know that. You have to give me a chance. Well, well, Tiffany, we don't we don't know you, Tiffany. Shit. We but meet you I right know, now. I know the energy it's the energy you gave me. The perception no, 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 that you no, get. No, no, no. Well, you could the energy I've read is what I is what I recited. Oh my goodness, here we go. Once you go dime, you gonna commit some crimes around this motherfucker. You goddamn break the law to get over here in my ass. I'm talking about running red lights around this bitch. Yeah, yeah man. Huh. What we doing? 
<laughs> hey, Jory, thank you once again. Holy cow. She, I thought this was a whole nother Kendrick contestant. I didn't know it was so many that come up here acting like this. I thought she sounded like the, the Muslim sister, the Muslim sister that's married to the man she never met in person. Yeah, I can't tell them apart no more. 43, yeah, this here, oh my goodness, she pre-gatekeeper for sure. She high-ranking pre-gatekeeper. Gatekeep it. Uh-huh. Jesus. Shout out to Eric Jordan. He come through with the skip button. So, uh, yeah. who is that? They said we got some bad cuts of meat tonight. Yeah, right now we throwing, we cooking unorthodox type things. We throwing steakums on the grill. You know, we throwing spam. That's what y'all get right now. <laughs> yes, what he, where he at? My guy Eric Jordan. He said, "I'm sorry, skip this huge bi. You missed my super chat. All right, we gotta go back. We missed your super chat." He said, "Drop that dime, rescue me." Yeah, we're going to do that and check for your super chat. Apologize, brother. We appreciate you. Oh, shit. I got a peace of mind now. I don't want to be up here no more. I'm telling y'all, somebody come rescue me and take me in your arms. Rescue me. I need your tender touch because I'm lonely and I'm blue. I need you to rescue me. <laughs> they all need rescue, but we can't. To the... To the submarine with her. <laughs> Straight like that. Okay, here we go. My guy Eric Jordan, I catch you first. Well, he said, oh, another huge B.I. That's a huge bitch. Yeah. <laughs> another one. Another one. So shout out to my guy Eric Jordan. Y'all on one tonight, huh? Woo. <laughs> Thank God we loaded. Oh, uh, they on one. They coming up here. Desperate, dusty, aggressive. Holy cow. We had two rabbit pit bulls up here. And I tried to be offensive. That was kind of harsh. But that's what they acted like. Y'all see this. Kendra don't need Kendra didn't know which way to go with the conversation. She said, Well, what we own, Miss Ma'am, is we about to fight or you being nice? What you doing? See what I'm saying? 